Hello YouTube friends, this is Major from Major Honey. I'm at my other yard today. I come over to do a little inspection and feed. Still got some cleanup to do from all of our trees cut and so forth. But uh, it's always a work in progress. So we've got the five over there and the five here. I'm not sure how many I'll get through today, but I'm at least going to feed everybody, but uh, I'm going to try to inspect a few, and I've got my smoker ready, and I've looked at them five, six days anyway. So, I know they've ate all their their food. You can see, yeah, they suck it dry. So, let's see what magic we got going on here. Now, here's one thing that I can tell you, the more, since these, these bees are a little different than the bees at my house, temperament wise, just because they don't get the same attention. I don't get a chance to, I have a routine of at least once a week, sometimes uh, more, depending on how my schedule goes but my bees at the house get more attention than on average than these guys do or these gals do <laughs> but there's a enormous food source here besides that's why I don't concern myself too much with I just I keep enough feed on them to allow them extra to keep the the drone the comb pulled out. But we're I'm at the foot of a mountain, and there's probably a couple hundred acres around here. That's uh, there's a few houses, but not many. This was in the outside frame of the second box. Okay. And, uh, well, they're not as, they're not that bad temperamental today, but right there. There's some larva. That is, if you can see on the outer edges of the cat brood already, you can see some larva. That's roughly four days old, maybe four or five days old, somewhere around in there, maybe a little less. So we know the, we know the queen is, was here roughly four days ago. whole frame what's hatched already has already been the eggs have already been laid back in it and she's laid them all the way down to the bottom tell where you're at see if you look down in the box you can see that those bottom frames got bees on both sides too so you know you got a you know, a healthy box. And I'm gonna set this frame down. Real easy, like. And I'm gonna pull out a couple more frames here and see where we're at. Now these were new foundation when I put them in. So you can see in a 
they've done this in a week's time maybe a little less a few days less five to seven day range sometimes when I say week I mean a five day work week for me But you can see how well they've pulled the foundation out. You can see the bobby pins down through there. They've pulled the foundation up over top of it. If you wax it good, they'll do that. But sometimes if you miss one or don't get enough wax on it, then they'll work around it. But that's the ideal situation right there for them to pull it out around it. So this gives me an idea, um, they're doing well here, so maybe another week I will put another box on top of this. Give them another week to get all that brood capped, or get all the larva capped I should say. And turn it into brood. five days or so and they should be ready for another box and then I will take the frames what I usually do is the frames that they're putting honey in I will move I'll always move them up to the top and put <clears throat> fresh foundation frames in for them to pull out and then I'll move the honey up and then when it's capped I'll pull it off and and I'll run these all season in these five frame I'll go at least three high and then when I come to the yard I will pull off you know if they've got a complete cap frame one frame two frame whatever then I'll pull it off so, now they're in the same boat as the one previously this frame I pulled up when I put the box on with the older cone in it you can see that and they've got two frames here on the end that they're just barely working on that they haven't exactly got to yet but as I look down in here this one frame in the center really has honey bulging on top of it <laughs> I'm curious I want to look at it and see what's what they're doing there now that Here's this frame next to that, and they're pulling a little bit out on that side. Oh yeah, and they're, they're pulling it out nicely on this side. This frame right here looks awful bulky. <laughs> heavy look at all that brood golly this there's 10,000 bees and they have really piled the honey in at the top see how they pulled it out let me see if I can turn it around There's the queen. Gotta be careful with this. She was right on the bottom of the frame right there. Let me see which way she's going and I'll 
See if I can get you a picture of her here. Yeah. There she is. And she really likes this frame because I see larvae and eggs in every little spot where that were bees have hatched out already and she's all she's running around filling them back up look at there what she's doing she's got her she's got her tail in a cell right now yep she just came back out of it well we're going to gently put this back Be very, and you know I just put the queen back in it. She's on this frame right here, and you want to be extremely careful when you're pushing your frames back over, working on your B space. Just do a little bit at a time, and that way, if she happens to be, it gives her room to get out of the way. It gives her time to get out of the way, I should say. If she happens to be in a position to get squished, so if you just drop the frames back in there and start shoving them around there's a very good possibility that you could squish her and I got a little honey on my finger it's licking it off it's pretty cool huh I think so anyways Well, we gotta move on, honey. So, just put you down right there. They're not as temperamental as I thought they was gonna be today. But I have been trying to. Come regular, which I do have a, a schedule that I work out with them. And one thing that I always do is lots of times every time every time i do an inspection i try to feed a little bit that way it's like a reward like you know you give your puppy a a treat or something right and i tell friends and some of the guys that uh, that are that i mentor i tell them you have to treat your hun honeybees like a brand new puppy you know you got to make sure you feed them and take care of them make sure you you know you treat your dog for you know worms and you know and disease and stuff you have to treat your bees the same way you have to make sure you controlling your varroa mite and your small hive beetle and your wax moths making sure that you maintaining on the small hive beetles and the wax moths the best way to do that is just to make sure that you maintain a strong hive and that you don't give them too much space all at one time and demoralize them and if if you put a box on top of them and they're not ready for it yet, then it gives them too much space to maintain and then it overwhelms them. And then that allows the small hive beetle and the wax moths to come in when they're, you know, because they've got so much room to maintain. There's not enough bees to maintain that large of a box. And then, then you'll get, you'll get you wax moths and your small hive beetles. And I always feed them every time I inspect. And it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a lot. It just just feed them a little bit, like I said, and it's like a reward. <laughs> you know, I'm putting quite a bit on these right now because they're still pulling out foundation. And uh, I want them to pull that foundation out faster. And they will pull it out faster. If you feed them, it's guaranteed. And glad you stopped by to watch our videos. Like, subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.